seeing that it's seven o'clock, open the meeting for the zoning board. On the, on the agenda tonight, we have uh, the hearing for continuous uh, petition 960, and it's being continued. So we won't, we won't have a... Again? Yes, it's Again? being continued. Oh. Because the, the planning board hasn't rendered a decision yet. Can we get a notice for the next time we get yes. any notices yes. about this? Yes. Yeah. Has has the and has the property changed because of uh, Gary? Or is, is it still two different? Be yeah, I saw something on the planning board, and it was forty nine and sixty three Cava for a pull barn. And yeah, that's it, what it is. They're putting the pole barn up. Go ahead. Yeah, they're putting a the pole barn up. That's what it is, a pole barn. Yeah, yeah but, but that isn't the one question. One or two. Gary, I think it's one, the one structure, one pole barn. Okay. So We're looking for okay. two structures. He's looking two. for two structures. Oh, yeah, well, it's, it it's a commercial. Two. Right. It's, it's yeah. commercial. Yeah. One of it's going to be uh, commercial, one's residential. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I noticed storage. on the planning board it said um, Podgorski <coughs> for 49 and 63. Well, it's, 63 was uh, Villiards. That's because it was the site plan for the whole yeah. space. I think that's why. So Villard, Villard's already been accepted? Yeah. But uh, You just said something there. You said uh, part of it is commercial and part of it is residential. Yeah, I think the residential part of it is only going to be for storage. Only the commercial. Why not the question is going to be industrial? It's not industrial. Yeah, yeah. That's, what well, that's what they were doing for the uh, welding and well, we haven't We haven't gotten a decision from the uh, planning board yet. Oh. Okay. So when we get the decision from the planning board, we'll let you know. Okay. 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 Yep. But are they still going forward with the, yeah, the they still, yeah, we haven't heard from the planning board yet. Okay. Any idea how long this is continued to? Oh, we don't know. I'm told, you know, they, when they meet again. You know. Okay, because I know they've got right. to on, what, the 17th yeah. of January. Well, All right. Uh, we need to have this. Yeah. Sorry about that. Whether to come or not to come. <laughs> check, on, check on the website, too, because they should be posted. That's how we found out that it was supposed to be tonight, because it was listed. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion for petition 960. To uh, continue it. Sorry, Matt, I just need to interrupt. Um, Josiah, can you just state who's present for the members remotely and in person? I didn't hear what she said. Can you say who's present for the members in person oh. and remotely? Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Good night. The members that are present tonight Bob Gergen. Bob Gergen. Jerry Joy. Josiah Nazarella. Tina Kenyon. And Dan, Dan Bazzari. Remotely is Dan Bazzari. Yeah. So I'll make a motion for petition 960 to continue to our March 14th meeting. I'll second it. Do we have a time, Alana? Um, it can be at 7. Uh, 7 o'clock? Yeah. Um, should, we, should we be checking beforehand to see how they're doing with planning? To make sure we keep it on there. I can keep you guys updated on that. Um, and I think uh, so on January 11th, I did send you all the site plan. Yep. Um, in case you had any comments to make to go back to the plan board if needed to. Um, but yes, I can, I can definitely keep you guys updated. Um, so you can you go there? Can you? Yeah. Mm, yes. Just in case I'm changing. Yes. Continue? Uh, yes, continue. Dan? Yeah. You guys want to continue it? Yes. Okay. And myself, yes. <laughs> okay. Right, that's, that's done with. <coughs> Our second thing is the decision from the building inspector that we uh, asked him on 648 and 680, 688 to find out what's going on on the property. Uh, Mr. Andrews, would you like to read that? 
Oh, you'd like me to read? Yeah, please. <laughs> Peter, you should be here. You're the reader. Sorry. <laughs> per your request, I conducted inspections at 648 Plymouth Street and 688 Plymouth Street. Below are my findings. 648 Plymouth Street. One, the property has been under the same ownership for 35 years. Two, the property is owned B business. Three, there are currently two residential apartments on this property. Four, there was no stockpile of material on the property when I inspected it. Five, the owner uses 648 Plymouth Street for his business address as it is zoned business. Six, there is a permit <coughs> sign on the property. Wait, sorry, this is permit permitted sign on the property. Seven, there is no special permit for this property in the building department files. Eight, there have been multiple permits issued over many years that have required on-site inspections. 688 Plymouth Street. One, this property has been under the same ownership for 35 years. Two, the owner resides on the property. Three, the property is zoned AR, agricultural residential. Four, the piles of material sometimes seen from the street are being used to develop an adjacent property, which is under the same ownership. Five, the owner parks personal vehicles and equipment on the property when not in use. Six, there have been multiple permits issued over many years that have required on-site inspections. Based on the information, I have determined that the property located at 648 and 688 Plymouth Street are not in violation of 167 Dash 7C, light industrial uses including manufacturing, storage, processing, fabrication, packaging, and assembly. The two families protected under MGL 40A Section 7. It is also my determination that both properties are further protected by Chapter 40A Section 7 of the Mass General Laws. Mr. Perry, you went through the whole property and that's what you, this is your opinion of what, what was there. Anybody has any comments or? So the apartments on the property, there's no special permits on the property? There should be a special permit. No, there should be a special permit, right? Uh, for a very long place. time, they've been nice. grandfathered. Is that right, Peter? Is that again? So having two apartments, shouldn't it be a uh, special permit for a duplex? Yeah, it's, yeah, if it's, if it's a multi-family, there are multiple units, probably, uh, but it depends on when that started. Do you know when it was built? Uh, no, but the only years that the, 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 the guys, the guys, I mean, it, it, to be honest, it's, it will be appealed to us or it will be, you know, like, it, we're not the original people of January, so if, if like if it's a zoning violation, I think it falls to to Jim, right? And he has to make a determination. So I don't, I don't know, I don't, I didn't hear in that letter whether or not a special permit was required. But we wouldn't be the people who would be enforcing that anyway. I don't think. So it's been there for 35 right. years. Yep. I mean, uh, there was a fire on the property at some point, and uh, you know. The bill inspector and the, and the deputy fire chief went through and filed a report way back when. The building inspector, uh, you know, commented in the report that there were, and the fire, deputy fire chief, that there were two apartments in the premise. I mean, so this has been, who knows how long it's been, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, one of the former building commissioners' family lived in one of them, okay? Here we are today. Dan, you have any input? Well, there's no, there's no that statute of limitations on the use. Was, but, if, but Dan, you can leave the use. The, 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 was in use. The building is protected as far as it's being, but the use is not. I believe the six-year. Uh, there's a protection on use and uh, no, structure. No, you're going to have to show that. <laughs> 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 could, you, could you send a, a board that in writing? I'll send you chapter 49, section 7. 40, uh, chapter 48, 7. 
Section 7. And what about the, um, you're saying that the uh, other property is not being used as a contract as yeah. All the all the equipment is personally owned, and the vehicles are personally registered. From what I'm told, okay. Right. Well, there's been plenty of instances in it's town where we do not allow people to use their home as the ground base for storing their construction equipment. We've had these issues on Carver Street and other places in town. Mm -hmm. I mean, if 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 the, if he's using the, the property as a contract, yeah, that's a violation. I don't believe I don't believe he's using it as a contract contractor yet. He packs his stuff here. He's a one-man show. When he's not using it on a job, he packs it there. It's his own equipment. Since when can somebody pack something? Because he did that? because there was the uh, they did try in 1987 to get a um, special permit, which was the not. I, I don't know about that. You don't know about that. No. Oh, well, it's in the records. Um, it, it's my opinion that they need a special permit for uh, 684. But the boy, you know, you do, do, what, do what you want to do. Uh, you know, I, I talked to the owner. I don't think he's against coming in for a special permit for those. I mean, it's been going on. I mean, it's no mystery. So he's been, I mean, it's been, yeah. under, it's been under the same year, same ownership for 35 years. Right. Both parcels. And, uh... Section 7 calls for 10 years. What's that? There's, there's Section 7 is 10 years. There's two Can you read it, please? There's two parts. I'm not reading this whole thing. There's two parts, but once... <laughs> Can you read the whole part of it, the first, the first paragraph of it? It's way down where it is. Let me get back to it, because that was reading this. <laughs> I, I, I think that the, the building inspector's decision is, is what's paramount here. I, I guess, well, the, from my perspective, we got, in, in that hearing that we have mentioned a couple times when this has come up, we, we got uh, information there might have been a zoning violation based on business there and then we saw a, a real estate listing saying that it was publicized as multifamily without a special permit so I think that's why we referred it because that stuff came to us just like anybody in town would refer that to the building inspector I I, I wonder like I'm not seeing like I, I'm like I'm not seeing exactly how whether or not like there's been no discussion on a, what a statute of limitations would be. I mean, I don't think that was advertised as a multifamily, you know, property 35 years ago. I think that's much more recent than that. But very honestly, I don't, I don't know if it's within our, our scope to issue any sort of, you know, d decision based on that. I think, you know, members themselves can have a disagreement with the, the building inspector's assessment of something. But in the end, I mean, that's what his job is. So when he decides to do that or not, uh, that's on him. Um, and I think that, that, you know, if he's gone out there and, and done that, and this is his assessment, and very honestly, it, it, he just described right now, um, you know, he, he believes that it's just the, the owner's business that he's, he has the, the trucks there. He probably knows better than I do. Um, but for the, and, that, and I think that concern uh, is explained a little bit better than the apartments. It sounds like there are apartments there, but there's no special permit. There's really been no decision on what steps the building inspector would take to make sure this, that the, the zoning would be upheld in that case. But but to be very honest, I don't think we have a role in enforcing that. I think that's what his job is. So yeah. it's either he does something or he doesn't do something, but that's on him. You know, I think we just referred this to him and we appeal other people's decisions. I I I. I I have personal feelings, I guess, about how thorough this has been, but at the same time, it's not my job to make that decision, I guess, right? Well, all my concern is, and it has been from the very beginning, that is, all residents are treated equal. Mm -hmm. And there's been plenty of instances where 
maybe a house was list, listed for sale and it was listed with an, with an apartment, a real apartment, and this time I said, whoa, 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 and gone and, ha and, and addressed that with the owner referring. So, in other words, this is not the first time where, you know, the, the town is making sure that, you know, things are done properly <clears throat> and uh, permitted properly. So just moving forward, you know, we don't want to expose ourselves or be accused of, oh, we're doing favors for one person or one family and not enough. That's what I will caution with this. Dan and Peter. I have the same concern you do. Dan and Peter, 688 is <coughs> Mr. Andrews' residence, right? Can, you can find yes. that? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. But 648 is the one, in your opinion, uh, does uh, 648 have more than one use? Does, is, there, is there a multiple family there? There's, there's two apartments there. There's two apartments yes. there. Yes. But it, it's, it's supposed to be a single family home. But there is no permit for... There's no special permit. There's no special permit. I mean, I got paperwork here back from 97 that from the assessor's office, I believe it came from. So it's been... It's that been, says it's a two-family. It's been a two-family for a long time. Yeah. This says, if real property has been improved by the erection or alteration of one or more structures, and the structures or alterations have been in existence for a period of at least 10 years and no notice of an action, suit, or proceedings as to an alleged violation of this chapter or any ordinance of bylaws adopted under this chapter has been recorded in the registry of deeds for the county or district in which the real estate is located or in the case registered land has been filed in the registry district sorry this is long in which the land is located within a period of 10 years from that date the structures we do in this case the structures were erected and the structure shall be deemed for zoning purposes to be legal non-conforming structures we're not going to contest this no. we're not going to contest this no. No. yes the structure no. yes the structure not the use six years of the use and structures <coughs> i've read that before that six, the that six years is not the use hey his decision is his decision structures but is just moving six forward year statute consistent. calls out for land use as well as structures where does it say that it's in it's in the uh, law. They talk, it's talking about the structures, not for you. But hey, your decision is your decision. I read this thing a hundred times. Yeah, I've read the thing quite a few times, and I talked to a lot of people about it. People are professional in, in the industry. Absolutely, the use. There is no statute of limitation on the use. The, the use is the use, the building is the building. Two separate. But your decision is your decision. We just have to be consistent. If somebody comes before us in the future, we're just going to need some remembrance. What is the pleasure of the board? <coughs> Except the building inspector. Well, yeah, system. I mean, uh, he is the enforcing agent. And if this is the report and he sees no problems there, then uh, <coughs> the, I, accept his, I accept his report. As far as in the future, if someone comes up and says something, they would have to do the same thing. They would have to go back to the building inspector and say, hey, look, at, I think this is a violation. And uh, again, he would have to go out and, and look at it because we're not the ones that are saying it's okay. If, so if there's a problem out there, it has to go through the building inspector. The building inspector. And that's that's the way it has to it has to go. He, he's the one that uh, does the inspections, and he's written up the report. And if there's problems in the report, then that's something that someone else will look at later on. But as far as uh, I can see, he's given us the report, and he says everything is fine. As Charlie said, though, if we don't agree with it, we can't. Who do we appeal to? Yeah, so, we can't appeal to no. And I mean, we've got to respect his, his, uh, his decision. How do you feel? 35 years. Yeah. Like, we have to, we have to, you know, we, we have to look at it and he gave us a report and so, I mean, either we accept it or we don't. If we don't accept well, it, well, who do we go to? We don't go to nobody. Uh, we, 
We just learn from, from this mistake and uh, try to do a better. <coughs> sure. We don't have the whole I mean, range. you guys know I can drive all over town and I can pick up houses on every street, multiple. No, believe me, we are. You know, and what are we going to do with the guy that's got a bobcat that he cleans the snow out of his yard with it and he likes to play with it on weekends? Yeah. We're going to go after him? Section I, mean, the very, I guess the, our, our point was that we didn't, people came to us with this stuff. That's but fine. Not, I mean, it came up in a hearing and then people have been mentioning stuff. So they think that we are either ignoring it by not passing it over or. It's or just gone on too long. I mean, to be very honest, and that's what you think. I'm, okay, I'm fine with that. I, I think mean, it's I been gone. Know, to be really honest. I think it's, it's been. Like, been like, like, I don't, I'm not a building inspector, so if that's, if that's what you think. It's gone on for fine. three building inspectors. We're just passing it over. It's gone on for three building inspectors, and now all of a sudden it's an issue. That's my point. Section six. That's not why. Like, that's not why the the report is is worded the way it is, because the, the report is my report. Yep. But there's been three buildings. Very inspectors. frankly, if we, we've gotten these reports three building inspectors ago, I think we probably would have referred it to three building inspectors ago. Exactly. It wouldn't even be an issue. Right. Yep. That's the point going forward. You want to figure out how to take care of things going forward. If you know of something, you, you got to jump on. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Well, I I think we should. And I, in talking with the gentleman, I don't think that there's a problem with him coming in and filing a special permit and getting things cleaned up. Yeah. And that way, they have, you know, whether it's you know, it, it, it's his prerogative. I can't speak for him. No, no, nobody speaks for anybody else. But I really don't want to we just make a motion to accept the we got to clear it off the books anyway. Okay. <coughs> Section uh, 6 seems as though you could go between one and two family as long as you're not increasing area footage with depth of the yard requirements or zoning ordinance bylaws for a period of five years from its effective date. This is a lot of legal number, Jumbo. <laughs> Wow. Do we need a motion to accept the building inspector's decision? I don't think we need to. I think he filed his report, and I don't think we need to take any further action. All right. Right? Right. right. I mean, Why? we don't have to vote on it. We, we get, he gave us his report, and we have to accept his report. Is it long? I did see Mr. Tom like a while ago. The only the only other thing that I was questioning was um, you're saying the town has the property recorded as a multi-family? No, the town has it as a single family. Okay. But there's an inspection report on the back of the uh well maybe that's from I don't know. There's some uh, inspection report that I got that shows that uh, just a bunch of boxes checked okay. off. So in the town, the property has a single unit. If you think somewhere else, it's a uh, multiple. Well, the town says it's a uh, single family. Okay. Now you say two apartments. So is there one main residence, two apartments, or is there three units? There are two units. No, two units. Okay. That's an easy thing to fix, though. He could so because I have gone through this before, you can file it with the Registry of Deeds to just make it into a two-family. That's something that Mr. Andrews could take care of, just so that it's on the top of the record correctly. Well, I think he means that I think you need a special permit. I think you should file the Registry of Deeds. I don't think you do. Do you have to file if you are? Because it says that it, it can be either. Either it, or. Right. I'm not, I'm not positive, like I don't, this is all new to me, but. I think, I think we should just accept the building inspector's decision and move forward. I agree, you know, we shouldn't keep this thing here. We've got the report, that's all we need. That's it. <coughs> well. Alana, we don't, do we have to vote on this, Alana, or are we all squid away? I'm gonna leave that totally up to you guys. Sorry. I, I think we're good. I don't think we do either. We had a discussion on that. Well, Very thank good. you for your report. I well, appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Yep. Have a good night. Well, we move on to the minutes of January 10th, 2019.
2022. Anybody read the minutes? I did. Any corrections or? I didn't see any, it sounds all right to me. Do you want to make a motion on January 10, min 10 minutes? I'll make a motion to accept the meeting uh, minutes of uh, Monday, January 10th, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Yeah, could you back to a roll call? All right. Okay. Thanks. Bob? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Tina? Yes. Peter? Yes. And myself, yes. Passes five to zero. Now the minutes for January. Uh, <coughs> oh, I don't want to, uh, January uh, January nineteenth, twenty twenty, Country Club Estates. They want to come back on April sixth, twenty twenty two, at seven p.m. And that's all for the minutes. There's no okay. bills. <coughs> I'll make a motion to accept the meeting minutes of uh, January 19th, 2022. Second. Oh, okay. Aye. That Tina. would be... Uh, Tina, yes. Dan, I think, was on. Oh, Peter was on. Peter. Yes. Bob. Bob, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't here, so I can't vote. <laughs> and then, Jerry, would you mind signing those for me, please? Sure. I mean, leave it in the folder, Alana? Sure, that works. Thank you. Okay. We all have to sign, right? No, I just have to sign. That was for the minutes. Yeah. 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 I don't see anything on that even first. Do we have to sign for the minutes of uh, Monday, January 10th also? something that's going to interrupt us? We won't be able to finish this meeting tonight? <laughs> okay, we, we have no bills yet? Yeah, yeah. No bills. It's a cheap month. <laughs> Wait a minute for the uh, first one. Oh, she's going to take your stamp. Mm -hmm. She'll never do anything like that. She'll take your. All right. <laughs> Seeing that we have nothing else to do, want to make a motion. Did the selectmen have a uh, meeting on the associate? Did they have that meeting yet? They said they voted I think for it was somebody. Friday. They voted for somebody. They voted somebody in. Do we know? Yes, they um, they appointed Marlene Amity. Who do they vote in? Marlene Amity. Marley. Marlene. Marlene. She. Yeah, she um. She expressed interest, and I think she interviewed last summer. Did she run the school committee? I think that's why I recognize the name. I believe she's on the ADA commission or something. I think it's who you're thinking it is. Mm -hmm. I think she did run for school committee. Yeah. That's why I, I heard the name. Yeah, I think you're right. 
just to give you a quick, <coughs> quick update on the zoning bylaw review committee updates. Uh, we haven't had a meeting since the last meeting that we had <laughs> back in December. <laughs> Uh, the new lawyers that we have uh, haven't got together. We haven't got together with them yet. Uh, we should have it shortly, I would assume. And then we'll continue on with it. So I think it's going to be a, a slow process. Mm -hmm. Real slow process. Yeah. Any other business? I think that's it. Cool. Anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn at 7.31. Second. Who wants to second it? Second. Bob? Oh. Yes. Yes. Tina? Yes. Peter? Yes. Myself? Yes. Good night, everybody. How about you, Dan? <laughs> Dan? <laughs> <laughs>